Hey guys, a uh, bit of a cold one, a bit of a windy one today. Uh, yeah, I think we've picked the worst day to do this, but hey ho. At least it's not raining though. No, no, but if you could just make them up behind, we are going on this Circle Line NYC sightseeing cruise. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, it's a two and a half hour round trip. It takes you up, no, it takes you down the Hudson, round past the bottom of Manhattan, up, and then round the top and then back down the Hudson. It uh, just shows you all the sights from the boat. Yeah, like say you could go, you know, in New York, you go up the skyscrapers and you get like fantastic views up there. Um, obviously get like a nice shot of like the skyline. Yeah, you're a bit further back on, yeah, you get a nicer, yeah. nicer viewpoint from the boat. And with the, um, with the Go City New York Pass, which is what we've got, yeah. for this cruise, you do have to pay an extra $10 each yeah. on top of the um, admission like of your ticket that you've already paid. There's an hour and a yeah. half uh, boat tour as well. That's in on the Go City Pass. But because we're doing the two and a half one, yeah. it's worth paying the extra $10 each it's for an extra hour on the boat. Into, yeah, hopefully um, we're all equipped, ready, hoods up. That's like say it's My a hand one today. holding the camera it feels like it's ready to fall off, so I think we need to hurry up and go now and get yeah, on Yeah, let's go ahead on the boat. The uh, water's looking a little bit choppier than it was earlier when we booked this. And can I just uh, point out um, that there is big blocks of ice in, was the, in the water. Yeah. Yeah, and I did joke to Kevin and say like, oh, you know, we're on a boat, oh, we don't hit an iceberg. And he actually said that if we did, he was he was having the door. Yeah. How rude. Uh, it's a 21st century and gender equality and all that jive, so <laughs> I'm going on the boat, on the door. <laughs> Parkour sitting outside, even though it's freezing. So, they have just made an announcement that uh, we might not be able to go all the way around the Harlem River because, like we said about the in the beginning, the ice and the water, it's uh, the captain doesn't want to damage the boat, which you know, understandable, selfish, really. <laughs> selfish. But apparently, the top of the Harlem River is very narrow, he says, and it's just all like compacting in so. He says, we'll go up and come back down. So he says, whichever side you're sitting, you'll see everything. So, but at the go. moment, we're just sat in the sun and it's actually nice. But as we get going and the wind picks up, and you might see us um, back inside pretty quick. Yeah, she oh. says it's nice. Yeah. She's sitting here with the biggest <laughs> scarf in the world on and the hood and the hat and another hood. And, and we don't have to, because um, we're outside on the, uh, on the deck, we don't have to wear face masks, no. but I'm putting it on just for warmth. Yeah, keep yeah. the face warm. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think I picked the wrong day to wear uh, fingerless gloves. <laughs> Trade Center. The financial district. That obviously replaced the, the Twin Towers eventually. First New York City so the tour guides just Perfectly told us that uh, because of COVID and how many office blocks are now empty, he says that eventually a lot of them will become residential because people are just working from home. So all these offices will eventually be lived in. So there's the 
there she is, good old Lady Liberty, standing there in a green dress. We we have got a video uh, where we visit the the statue on Alice Island, so make sure you check that one out as well. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Thank you very much. Take your cell phone, point it left, turn it sideways, go pan around. Uh, Stacy, she's just trying to get a good, good photo. She's braving me. Last time I tried to stand up, I fell down because of the wind. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm, I'm glad Moose is just trying to get like a little bit warm. It's, it's just absolutely freezing. Yeah, it is brassic. It's the wind. It's just, look, as you can see by Stacy's attire and hair. Okay, if you turn the camera around now, look at the shot from behind us of like where the uh, one world. Trade Center oh, yeah. such like a gorgeous shop. You, get, back you get an amazing view of downtown Manhattan. Ooh, see, I almost went again then. From <laughs> the statue. If you go over to the, the Liberty Island, you will get an amazing photo of downtown Manhattan and Jersey. You get a shot right up the Hudson oh, at both sides. It's absolutely stunning. David, the, the tour guide, said that uh, the statue is made out of copper, obviously that's why it's now green. Uh, if you take two American pennies and put them together, that is the thickness of the copper on the statue. So it's not that thick really. That where the trees are is battery park. That white pop-up tent kind of thing is the security check-in for the Staten Island, no not Staten Island, the Liberty Island uh, ferry. You do have to, it's very, there's a lot of security you have to go for metal detectors and x-rays and all stuff like that. But that's where you catch the boat from if you are visiting Alice Island or Liberty Island. Like I showed you before, I did sillily wear uh, fingerless gloves. And this is currently how I'm wearing them. Because <laughs> it's so cold. I need the thumb to hold the camera steady on my left hand. So the other ones are inside. Turn around, give us a smile. underneath. I don't know, we just don't get anything like that back in the UK, so that's crazy. Stuck to the seat. Stacey's neck is so cold she can't turn her head. It's Ow. freezing. Stacey hasn't even looped it like Brooklyn once. I, I can't turn my head to the right, I'm sorry. Like she hasn't Brooklyn's over there, Stacey, you know. So when this is when this goes out I'll be watching it back as well to, to see what I've missed. Yeah. You'll miss a, a lot of cold. <laughs> uh, and also I don't know where the sun's gone. It was lovely and bright uh, not long ago, so then all this clouds come over. It doesn't get rain, please don't rain, or snow, please. Right, so uh, we buckled, ran inside, uh, I got some hot chocolate, and uh, this building here, sorry I missed it, is the UN building, if anybody's interested. Yeah. But like I say, we buckled and got hot chocolates. We sat inside for like five minutes while you yeah, grabbed us a drink, but then we're back outside. Because the shot, obviously can get better shots out here, but it's okay now we've got hot chocolate. Elizabeth Cochran documents the abuse close to live wide off the scandal. Real name Elizabeth, once you So because of the ice, we should normally carry on straight up there. Uh, we've ended up doing like a U-turn kind of round this island. 
and then I'm guessing we're heading back down. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> Stacy's doing a little dance. The keep warm dance. Bridge, <laughs> one apartment. Whose idea was it coming? And then I had a you. I told you we should have come in June. <laughs> But no, I, I think we, yeah, we're heading back down out. But I'm sure By we'll bridge, end up going up the Hudson more, uh, hopefully, we'll to see Long like to more up work. that way because we're just going to see the same bit now. So guys, it's quite a few people on this bridge, and it shows we're the only ones out here. Well, <laughs> literally everyone's inside. You say there's quite a few people on the boat yeah, downstairs, yeah. and I went and get the hot chocolate. There's like four people downstairs, oh, so there's not that many people on the boat. So it's like, yeah, it's not completely full. Cool, no, it's no. There's nobody else outside. I, the things we do to try and get you guys the good footage. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd say and this boat's about a quarter full, if that. Because, like I say, there's but nobody out here but us and area, three other crazies. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. The hot chocolate's nice, though, so if you do come on, uh, get a hot chocolate. It's $4, and weirdly, it's $4, and I didn't have put tax on, which confused me when I got to the counter, because you have to put tax on everything. Warm your hands. And the cycle begins again. It's the cycle. So that, is part so that of the one there with the sealed blue containers on. Is a, a garbage boat, and he's just saying you can see all the seagulls green. trying to get in, but all the garbage so boats now are sealed. Whereas, uh, the I always remember seeing it on the tele, like on I know, Simpsons or something like that, where you'd see the garbage boats where like, they were just open, pool. and he was saying now they'll have to be sealed up. So, like, because he was saying years ago you used to get people rushing to one side to get pictures of a garbage boat with all the seagulls, and he says it doesn't work anymore because it's all sealed up in containers. Okay. One thing I've learned about New York is you never know what is under you. So you wouldn't know walking up here there is two levels of cars underneath you and probably a subway somewhere and a, a car bridge maybe, you never know. And Stacey's just been waving at strangers. She yeah. thinks she's the queen. Everyone's like waving as we're going past, so I'm just the waving back. <laughs> uh, if you do come on this boat, which we highly recommend, it's just that it's cold at the moment, um, try and get on a bit earlier. They say get here 45 minutes early. Uh, try and get a seat outside because the seats downstairs, which are indoors, which Stacey's like, can we go indoors? And I'm like, no, because when I went get that hot chocolate, the windows are very grotty. So you're not going to get, good, not gonna get good, good photos. You're not really going to see it as you should do. So yeah, because as well, with it being open top up here, you get the good views of the bridge and as you're going under you get the nice photos. So as we start um, heading back, so the cruise for this was at three o'clock and it's for two and a half hours. Yeah. So hopefully as we get back, you can see a bit in the background, well, like hopefully there's a bit of a sunset and like the you Manhattan sure skyline. Yeah, that'd be nice. As it's going dark a little bit, so hopefully yeah, so fingers we're gonna crossed go for that, yeah. Get them shots. Right, Stace, how much do you want to spend a night in that creepy old ass building? That's like definitely that. going to be eerie in old asylum. <laughs> so there's the Pepsi Cola sign. Stacy said she was half listening. Uh, apparently the sign has permanently got to stay there. Uh, that was where the Pepsi Cola bottling plant used to be. I like that sign. It's just a, like a cool bit of nostalgia. Oh, and just there is the top of the Chrysler building. It's very hard to get a good photo of the Chrysler building because it's surrounded by a lot of tall buildings. But it's nice though. It's uh, very old in New York, isn't it? And there's a good shot of the Empire State Building. Just by this like building that looks like a drunk built it. It's gone a bit cockeyed at the top. I noticed no smoke from the smokestacks. We don't burn coal clean fuel oil or compressed natural gas. The city has cut its carbon emissions more than 65% since I arrived in 85. New power plant construction is delayed because we're trying to use something cleaner. All right, here she comes. She buckled and went in before. Oh, I'm nice and warm. Are you, Kev? No, I'm bloody freezy. <laughs> she left me on my own in the cold, people. <laughs> I thought you were following me in. No, how can I follow you in? <laughs> Someone is going to try and get footage for these people. These people don't know what I'm going through out these days. <laughs> they don't know the cold. They don't know the, the pain these fingers are in. 
Oh, as we're uh, getting back down to the bottom near Battery Park, it's getting a bit choppy now. I'm a bit like this. I wish I had a C6 tablet. It's getting very hard to hold this camera now. I'm trying to get some good shots. That's the statue with a sunset behind it. Hopefully I'm holding it steady enough for me to make out what it is. It's pretty hard. Right, so these are going to be some of the last shots I'm going to be able to take because my fingers are actually getting quite painful now. Uh, I think I might get a frostbite. And I'm so cold. So I missed this the first time around. There's a huge clock there on the Jersey Shore. I don't know if it's sponsored by Colgate or it's something. I'm guessing it's in. They must sponsor it for some reason. Or it's a bit random. The, the big Colgate clock. So this harbour here he said was uh, damaged in Hurricane uh, right. Sandy, Tower, one of the ones begin with S. And he said it's caused like $69 billion dollars worth of damage. That's why it's empty. He says it's got to be completely drained and rebuilt from scratch. I was like, geez. But then, because we did come up a little bit higher up the Hudson. If you notice the two, this really tall one here and this one here. Uh, if you watch our uh, Central Park video, uh, You'll see hear me say director. how so the kind know, of ruining the skyline a with all these really high the buildings at the moment here. near Central Park. Because, like I say, if you look at the rest of it, all these, you know, okay. they aren't really high rise, but it, he told us by 20, I think he said by 2040, they're going to have 70 new, like over 700 foot skyscrapers in Manhattan. So he says like, you know, the, the skyline's just gonna be completely different as the time goes on. Which is a shame really, because like I said before, I feel the, the, the really tall skyscrapers should be kept uh, on the lower side of Manhattan. Uh, as you go up to Central Park, it should just be kept to the low rise and it just feels aesthetic, as, uh, aesthetically more pleasing. It's too cold to speak. But times change and they call it progress. It's a bit of a shame, but it's the way it's going. What he called it, Super Storm, Super Storm Sandy that caused all that damage. There you go, he's just said it. So this is the spot right now where Sully landed the, the plane on the Hudson and he's just been telling us a bit about it. And he was saying uh, just further down there, a Good Morning America hostess was on her day off because she just had chemo and she was stand, uh, looking out the window and she was on the phone to a friend and she was like, oh, that plane's really low, I need to ring you back. She, she recorded, he phoned the studio, said send the truck, the TV truck and I'll meet you down there and she came down after having chemo to do live news of the plane landing on the Hudson. That's dedication. And there's the submarine, the USS Growler. That's the only submarine in the world you can walk through that used to carry nuclear weapons. Right guys, so we're all finished now on this very, very cold, <laughs> very cold boat ride. I am already get off and get in the warp somewhere. You've been inside for ages. <laughs> no, I've been out here you like must, a trooper. You must be freezing. I, like a trooper getting this footage for you. So you better like that, like it, hit that subscribe button because these fingers are Already killing me. Drop off. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed two and a half hours. Like you say, I think it's just a great way to see the New York yeah, skyline from, really the, from the water. Um, like we said at the beginning, yeah, you've got the skyscrapers, which are amazing as well to go off. It's just yeah. from a different point of view, that's all. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, like I say, two and a half hours of just free by. freezing this. Yeah, it has, it's gone really quick, hasn't it, as well. But I'm um, really, I'm not sure if I'm just cold or I need a wee. So <laughs> shall we? <laughs> shall we? A bit of both, I think. So we'll hold up. Oh, and up. yeah, we've just pulled up. Let's see. Uh, Get off this boat. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.